Hi everybody, Levi Clay here and I would like to welcome you to another new series on my channel entitled Inside the Song. So what is Inside the Song? Well, for those of you that are unfamiliar, a few years back I put out an album. Not an instrumental album, no no, a rock album full of songs. And I wrote a lot of lyrics, I wrote actual songs with uh, things that I needed to get out of me at the time. It was a very therapeutic uh, writing process and it really did uh, help get a lot of stuff off my chest. Unfortunately, well not unfortunately, plenty of people did check it out I guess, but I released it before my YouTube channel had really picked up in any way, shape or form. So I thought by talking about some of those songs, walking you through the thought process behind them, some of the writing process, some of the uh, parts of the songs that I think are quite cool, give new people a chance to check those songs out. You can stream the entire album on Spotify, I assume it's still on Spotify, uh, or you can find a link to it below on Bandcamp. Again, you can stream it for free on Bandcamp, but if you would like to purchase a copy, that's cool too. You can get it digitally on CD. So, the first song I'm going to talk about today is uh, track 7 on the album, and it's called Fly Away. In fact, you will have been able to hear some of it in the background up until this point. Fly Away was uh, a song that I wrote for my nana. So when uh, I decided to write an album, I felt I needed to write an album. It was right when I kind of decided to leave London, which is why a lot of the songs on there are about leaving, getting away and escaping. Uh, and during the writing process, uh, very abruptly, my, uh, my nan fell ill. Uh, with a, a brain tumour and within like three weeks was just gone and this was um, hard-ish for me to deal with because we were very close and still to this day I, I miss my kind of weekly phone calls always uh, conversing about life and stuff a big influence on me both musically she was really into country music film wise she introduced me to horror films uh, and just in how to deal with life in general, like I'm a huge influence on my life. So it felt obvious that I needed to write a song for her. She was a big fan of Owls. I'm also a big fan of Owls. You'll notice there's a little owl on the cover of the album. That's for her. The album was dedicated to her. And Fly Away was the the metaphorical idea uh, that she was an owl and was flying away. And I had to say goodbye to that. So lyrically, you know, I'm saying goodbye, I put the words on the page, the only way to let it all out. Hopefully you can imagine me literally writing those on a page that happened. Uh, you were my safe place, all the lessons I've learned, the life of the love of the memories. I'm not going to say that I'll see you again. The world keeps on turning around, but I miss you most days and your memory lives in our heart. So, yeah, lyrically, there's obviously a lot going on. Uh, it's very obvious what I'm singing about when you... Well, I'm not singing, <laughs> what I'm writing about when you hear the lyrics and if you go through the rest of the song and check the lyrics out you will see find something that's deeply personal maybe something that you'll be able to relate to i like the uh the pre-solo like the bridge section that section actually predates the song by quite a long time i wrote this while i think i was listening to some jimmy herring this uh d minor <laughs> So it's like a D minor chord, and the bass line moves down from a D to a C, and you can give that F on top, um, to a B. It's kind of like a G over B. Uh, and then traditionally, you, you might hear like a B flat major here. But I really like the sound of a B flat seven with that open E on the top. So it gives you a D minor. D minor over C, G over B, and then a B flat seven. And that B flat seven was a bit of an ear twister to me. And I still vividly remember playing that during the Guitar Idol finals after a, an all night party. I woke up in the morning and was playing that and then Cameron Allen woke up too uh, and came into the living room and picked up a guitar and just started soloing. 
over that chord progression and he sounded fantastic because he's Cameron Allen and he always sounds fantastic uh, vividly remember that it was fantastic and actually when it came to cutting the instrumental version of this tune as well Cameron was the obvious person to get to play on it so there's an instrumental version of this on my band camp as well with Cameron playing on it for those of you that don't like singers uh, yeah I really like that chord progression because that B flat 7 up until that the D minor play D minor over it. Whatever it is you play. But when that B flat 7 sharp 11 comes in, really the only scale that works perfectly over it would be... Um, B flat Lydian dominant as a sound but that's a bit jazz so when it came to soloing over this what I found is that really you're looking at the notes of D minor for the solo but when that B flat 7 lands you really need to hit the flat 7 of the chord which is the flat 5 of D so in my mind I'm kind of thinking D blues but I'm not hitting the fifth, it's just the flat five, so you get. And that outlines that chord change quite nicely, so the melody in the solo is. standard tuning <laughs> uh, there is some more you know crazy um, stuff there's an eight finger lick in there which again I was thinking of Cameron that some you know Van Halen as well <laughs> musical perspective is the part that people kind of dig getting to solo over that uh, but for me the song is obviously it's about the message it's about the lyrics that's always going to be the, the most important aspect of my songwriting I'm really getting that songwriting bug at the moment I'm wanting to write some songs again so expect news on that at some point I'm sure but the other aspect of this song is the the chords uh, I wrote the entire album in drop D and Part of playing, playing in drop D is having chords and not just playing bar chords, not just, you know. Because you'll end up just sounding very new metal if you're just using that. Uh, I remember taking influence from bands like Disturbed back in the day when Dan Donegan was playing like a, a power chord but hitting the ninth on top. And that's a big influence on the way that I play power chords. And the more I played around with drop D as a tuning, I realized that I had a lot of chords that I could do. If we take any of those bar chords, if I take the uh, third fret bar chord, this would be an F5. If I put that third finger down, we've got an F add nine. If I put the little finger down, you've got an F minor. If you move up one fret, you've got an F major chord. And they're all usable, and I do use them all. Uh, the other voicing that I like to use is I'll take and move down. 
This is actually like a C with an E in the bass. It's an inversion. Uh, and from that, it means that when I'm writing in D, for example, I have a few more chord voicings that uh, enable me to have a bigger sound on the guitar than just playing your boring chord voicings. So yeah, I use that in this song, you know, the, uh, the main riff. That type of thing. That's a B flat nine to a C over E. And then uh, in the verse. I play this G minor to a C over E, which I like, and the chorus. So again, you've got that, I, I play the F, add nine. We've also got the C over E. Then this would be an E flat major chord. They all work quite well in my mind. And you'll notice that when I'm doing that, that's not diatonic. I wrote chords that I thought sounded cool rather than ones that were theoretically correct. So I like that as an approach. There is one other secret that I don't think I've ever told anyone about this particular song. So in that bridge section where I'm playing... Um There's a second guitar part and the logic was to play the same chords but in inversions. So I do, I play... So that's a D minor with that open E. This is a C sound. Move down a semitone, gives you that G sound, G7. And then B flat seven with the open E. But I didn't record it like that because I found going from was a bit tricky. So what did I do? Capo, and I capoed, uh, I will have capoed here. Yeah, make that a bit looser. Capos, good tools, great tools. So I'm capoed on the sixth fret, but I've got the open E still there, so I can play. to that effect. <laughs> I forget the, the chords from there from the second part. But yeah, I thought it might be interesting to be honest and tell you that that's what I did there. I just used a capo because that was the best way to get the cleanest recording that I possibly could. So there we have it. Inside the song, Fly Away, about my Nana Shirley Clay. Rest in peace, I guess. Yeah. So if you've enjoyed that, drop me a comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, check out the song on Bandcamp. There's also a video of it on my YouTube. I'll link to that at the end. But before I do that, I should just, you know, as always, swing over here. Thank you to these guys over here. These guys are my patrons. They support me over on patreon.com. Uh, these guys are all on $10 or more, which is fantastically generous of them. It allows me to keep making better videos. Hopefully you think this video looks better. I hope the sound is also acceptable to you guys because I'm um, the microphone is off screen now. The microphone's up here. Uh, hopefully that is still an acceptable sound. If you don't think it is, then let me know. Uh, but yeah, improvement of videos is something that I'm always wanting to do. I was wanting to make better videos and these guys help me make better videos. So thank you very much for your support. Uh, but you can also support me on Patreon for as little as a dollar. 
You can check us out on Patreon up here by clicking this button. Subscribe to my channel by clicking this button down here. And there's two more videos here and here. One of them will be another relevant video, but one of them will be fly away. So if you want to see the video version of that, please do click that and check it out. Thanks so much for all the support, guys, and I will see you for another video again soon. Bye.